Hi Libra, how are you doing? This is your friend Spellbound. A couple of days I did a spread for you where we were on the fence about someone. I don't want to call it a power struggle, but what was it? I don't remember the exact spread, but it was kind of a feeling where you kind of like wanted to hit and quit a situation or you didn't want that person to have the upper hand on you. I don't think there was like enough love or any love being in Invested. So I said I would come back in a couple of days to revisit the energy and see if there was more to the story. So this is going to be just for the next couple of days. I will label this as the week of February 8th, Libra. So what you guys have going on is the Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, uh, Two of Wands, I'm sorry. Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Empress, Judgment, Queen of Pentacles that has been following me everywhere, Four of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, and these four cards came off the bottom of the deck, but there's a reason for that. So the Two of Cups tells me that love is on your mind. And technically, I could just read the first three cards, the Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and say, hey, you know, a balanced union might be coming in. You might get an offer from a fire sign that, um, you know, looks good, like they want to set up house with you and all that good stuff, right? But the thing is, for some reason, uh, looking at the two of wands and that three of wands you guys um these choices like you haven't chosen this there's something about this that you're not sure if it suits you especially with this five of swords okay you might be looking at the situation and there's something about this person that you're seeing with clarity this could be a person that presses your buttons this could be a person that you or the situation might be deceptive okay it might be it might be yeah it might not necessarily be all that it's cut out to be that's literally that phrase i just heard in my head so this wands person might be that's all they want to give you really is the wands but things are just going to go up in smoke so everything else might just be a pipe dream and um that's it. The six of pentacles might not be necessarily as balanced as you would like it. They could just be, I don't want to say gaslighting, but you might think, or they might think, because it's a matter of wits, matching wits, especially when I see this five of swords here, it's like a matter of matching wits. So they might be thinking that the little three cents they're holding in their hand you think you're getting it, but you're not. And you know that. But they don't realize that you know that. Okay? You know that there's better out there for you. Excuse my hands just moving around so much. But I'm just trying to... Anyway, you know there's better out there for you. So that's what you're kind of like thinking you're going to choose. Okay? This is a person that's like really trying to see and examine everything okay and you know you know what you want coming in and you know how to get there and you know how to get it with this empress and this this judgment and this queen of pentacles it's possible you're dealing with a person that has like a wife or another obligation or um excuse me they might have another family if you're a man if you're a man, you could be caught in between two women or your female may have another male that she's more obligated to, not you. Okay, it might be the father of her children or there might be someone that she lives with. I've been feeling fertility lately. It's, it's, it's not me. It's uh, Honestly, it's, it's not me. But for a lot of you, you might be fertile this time of year this is spring so that's another thing you want to just keep in the back of your mind to you know take necessary steps if you don't want a third edition 
or a fourth edition or a fifth edition to your family. Fourth Pentacles. Okay, so Fourth Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups. In a nutshell, with this offer that was presented to you, you are choosing or it's possible you're going to go your merry way. Okay, judgment talks about, you know, ending so things can be rebirthed and reborn. And, you know, sometimes it's your just do. And I think that with the two of wands here as you're trying to make the choices and with the three of wands as you're trying to see your ships coming in or you're preparing to manifest with this judgment it seems as though you know you will get your just rewards or your just due did i say judgment or justice with this judgment here you know that you will get what you're supposed to get in due time but not necessarily now with this situation. And I think that's why you're holding back. And I think you're being wise to not run off at the mouth and tell this person these things. You're just, you know, keeping it to yourself, holding it close to your chest. So I think you're going to pass on this one. What is it? No dice? Is that that thing when you don't want to play? You say no dice? You're going to pass on this one. You're going to tell that person, yep, no dice. And you are choosing to walk away because this is not enough for you. It will not satisfy you. Look, isn't that smoke coming out of one of those cups like this person was trying to blow some smoke up your, you know, your wherever, your whatever. So you're like, nope, not for me. Bottom of the deck, right? What you didn't realize, because excuse the shaking of my hands again. See, what you didn't realize, what was going to be coming for you, this uh, five of cups, this person was really going to break your heart, okay? They already knew it. They knew it. This is not like the nicest of people that was in your circle. They talked a big game or they thought they had good game, but they didn't have your highest intentions. This is how they were going to leave you, broken and defeated, and this is probably their pattern. This is something that they're used to. It's routine. It's what they normally do is they seduce people, but they already know they have no intentions of like setting up that happy home with them. So this person could have already started like alienating you. Um, you know, you want to talk to them. They're like, ah, my phone was shut off. I was sleeping or I wasn't around or whatever. But they were already like leaving you out in the cold, especially with that six of pentacles over there. This is all like breadcrumbing already. So they were already like revealing hints of it. And I think you on an intuitive level picked it up. This was not going to be for you. This was going to be your ending right here. So they're sitting over here telling you about, oh, yeah, it's going to be me and you, girl. It's going to be me and you, boo. You know, it's going to be me and you, shorty. You know, we're going to do it up. We're going to have the happy house, the, the kids. We're going to build that life. But nah, they wanted to build something, all right, but it wasn't a life. And this would have been pretty much the destruction of your ego. So Libras, I think you dodged the bullet. And I'm going to leave this right here for right now for this week. Have a good night.